Okay, Dan, now let's move into our over $2 million in sales category. Right. And our first honoree is Danny Estinger from Center Hardware in San Francisco. Danny went into this business and she mm -hmm. had a background in doing some woodworking. It was kind of mechanically, that was kind of her entree into hardware right. was these are projects she liked to do. So she kind of brought that skill set. And so she immediately started excelling when she joined Center Hardware. And then, and then that kind of uh, background got her a promotion where she started doing uh, uh, inventory management yeah. and buying at the store and and one of the things that I also like about Danny's story is as I'm kind of a numbers guy uh, particularly when it comes to retail I mean you and me both we look at things like cost of doing business and we think we really preach this idea of running a store by the numbers well that's what Danny started doing mm -hmm. she started looking at numbers and saying where are there ways that we can improve our operation and just some of the things that, that she was able to do when she when she was doing buying and running the inventory management management section, she started managing by the numbers and getting rid of dead items and looking for ways to improve. And some of the results she got were pretty impressive, yeah. particularly when you look at a store, kind of the volume and, and, and traffic that you see at a center hardware. She was able to increase the average margin for the store by four full percentage points. I mean, that is huge. And not only that, she was able to also grow average transaction size by three bucks. Um, so she really sure. dug into these. And I think <laughs> anybody out there who's a manager or owner would say, bad. I want those kind of the results at my store. And she consistently uses this kind of data to examine the operation and look for ways to improve. Um, she also looked at how do we improve things like our in-stock position. So she looked at what are our ordering policies and procedures and how can we make sure if we have to increase ordering frequency to make sure that our in-stock position is, is really strong. And I'll talk about how that helped them here recently. But something else uh, that she spearheaded and helps organize is Center Hardware's big event of the year, which is called Tula Palooza. Tula Palooza. Uh, you can say that three yeah. times fast. But <laughs> but in 2019, the the event had over a thousand attendees and has become a huge mm. part of what they do. Right. And Danny was really instrumental in making that happen. But but getting back to what I was saying about where her kind of practices really uh, and the way she looks at ordering and inventory management is as everybody was struggling with COVID-19 and and originally you, you know you got to remember that Center Hardware is in San Francisco so that was an area that was really hard hit and a lot of restrictions and so on put on so the store really saw a downturn in sales originally and, and things were really tough but what Danny did was she said how can I help during this time with the expertise that I bring so she started looking at how do I get kind of pandemic specific products and how do I get the things? And she brought in thousands of new SKUs into the right. store that were really focused on converting their sales floor into more of kind of like a pandemic supply section. Yes. And because of her quick thinking and her ability to react and to, to implement kind of what she's good at, they were able to make sure that the store still saw year over year sales increases despite the major hits they took. So, so you know, Danny, like, like I said, someone after my own heart looks at the numbers, looks yeah. at the data to drive the store. She also brings all this knowledge of actually knowing how and what to do and, and, and knowing those things is important for a store uh, like Center Hardware because they deal with a lot of pros and those pros want to know that they're talking to someone who knows what they're talking about. So for all those reasons, Danny is a great honoree for this year's award.